santos.org. Get Santos now. Santos Linux DVD ISO. And select a provider close to your location. VirtualBox, new, name, send us eight, one. The default directory, you can change uh, this Linux uh, Red Hat 64 bits okay very nice the next okay for server is uh, 1 gigabit or more I will choose 1 gigabit next and the virtual hard disk Great BBI fixed size hard disk file may take longer to create on some systems, but it's often faster to use. So choose fixed size next and choose 20 gigabytes for 20 gigabytes or more according to your requirements. Great. Okay, go to settings for the virtual machine. Go to network. Uh, I prefer Bridget adapter. We will use my Ethernet adapter. Um, verify that the cable is connected. So on USB, support USB 3.0 and Go to uh, system, you can choose uh, at least one processor or more, uh, one gigabyte of memory or, or more. Uh, and very nice. Um, displays minimum because this will use a command line interface. No graphical user interface, so use the minimal and go to storage, uh, the empty drive, select the choose virtual optical disk file, choose uh, CentOS 8. Okay, ready? Okay. And start. Okay, select the option. Okay, view. Uh, Okay, select install. Okay, install, enter.
select your preferred language uh, okay and click on capture but to exit from the capture uh, press control right okay on your keyboard capture select your preferred language english in my case then continue Okay, select keyword, uh, for example, uh, English by default, you can add any that you want, in my case, uh, for example, um, Spanish, okay, uh, Latin American. Okay, and add and you can uh, up uh, okay, so Spanish will be first, then English the second and done. Okay, also you can set the The location on time and date select your location in my case here okay then done the software selection choose server an integrated easy to manage server okay the server is the no graphical user interface so only a command line interface okay select a hardware monitoring utilities no Windows file, Windows file server. Uh, debugging tools. No file and storage server. No FTP server. No GNOME. No guest agents. No mail server. No network file system client. No network servers. Performance tools, select performance tools. No remote management for Linux. No virtualization, no basic, basic web server. Uh, select legacy Unix compatibility programs. No container. Uh, select basic development environment. No .NET. No graphical administration tools. Uh, no headless management, no RPM development tools, no scientific support, uh, no security tools, no smart card support, and select system tools, okay, system tools. Development tools, legacy, Unix compatibility, performance tools, debugging tools, and hardware monitoring utilities. Done.
Okay, go to installation destination. Okay, this is my 20, 20 gigabytes uh, hard disk. Um, storage configuration, custom. Done. Then you can create a uh, you can create a logical volume management, but in my case, it will be a standard, standard partition. And add a new one. Uh, create the swap, the desired capacity. This, uh, the swap uh, can be the, in my case, um, one gigabyte of, uh, of okay, uh, one gigabyte uh, or 1024 megabytes according your requirements. Uh, if you have uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM memory, uh, the swap can be uh, similar, okay. Uh, Very good, uh, not problem with this. Add mount point. Okay, swap standard the capacity. Not problem if it's approximated value. Uh, add a new add. Then the root, the desired capacity, do not specify this to use the remaining uh, capacity, the, remain, the remaining uh, capa uh, the remaining size, okay, uh, at mount point. Okay, so the root, the mount point will be uh, the root, 19 uh, gigabytes and swap about uh, one gigabyte. Okay, then done. Okay, and accept changes. Ready. Go to network and host here and Ethernet is disconnected. You enable this, okay, on to enable the interface. It gets some um, configurations, IP configurations from the DHCP, from the DHCP server, and and you can set the host name here. I will use the default host name, not problem. So you can change this value after the installation, okay? Okay, done. Ignore security policy, ignore k down, begin installation. Okay, click here to set the root password. Done. And create a user. And password. Done. Then reboot.
Okay. Uh, write control the shut down the power of the virtual machine. And go to settings, then on storage. On a storage, uh, remove disk from virtual drive. Okay. And start. Very good. And try your username created with the password. Success. Then power uh, the working directory, for example. This is the, the my directory and uh, access as the root user. As you uh, space dash the password for the root, uh, for example, the working directory is root exit. Very nice. Thank you.